wonderful pages of basic sorry practical computer comprehensive so today we are looking at basic science and technology topic four and our fifth week our topic here today is on the physical and health education the topic communicable and non-communicable Next, we'll look at what we ought to know after this lesson. By the end of this lesson, you are expected to state the meaning of communicable and non-communicable and state examples of communicable and non-communicable. The example of communicable and non-communicable So first, we look at definition and examples of communicable disease. We have that communicable diseases can be transferred from a sick person to a healthy person, through direct or indirect. So we have those that are airborne. When someone is coughing, you the air carries it out, carry whatever jam they have in their body or virus they have in their body to another healthy person. If they are not well protected, you will contact it. Examples of this airborne disease are whooping coughs, whooping cough, measles, chicken pox, smallpox, and tuberculosis. So when you see someone coughing unhealthily without closing their mouth or covering it, please stay far away from them. Or you see people that have these rashes on their skin, don't share personal belongings with them because it's not advisable. Or you tax liver disease. Next, we have our waterborne and foodborne diseases such as dysentery, cholera, diarrhea, and typhoid. Yes, all these are communicable, they are contagious. So, you should stay clear from people that don't share the same cup with them, for those that are having this cup and anything that concerns internal or external body. Please. Stay away from that. Avoid that if they are well. Else, you is not staying away from them doesn't mean that you hate them. It simply means that you don't want to contact that disease. You can help them by doing things for them, things that they ought to do when they are well. Maybe it's your sister. She washes the plate. She can wash the plate. Then she maybe she sweeps the environment. She can take up sweeping the environment. That is helping them. You can as well as go to the pharmacist and ask for drugs and buy for them. That's helping them. Helping them is not sharing the disease. It's not advisable. Next, we have insect or animal bone disease. That's malaria, yellow fever, sleeping sickness, rabies, and all that. I wonder why in Nigeria we embrace people with malaria. They hug them and kiss them and do everything with them, not fearing that we might contact it. Not fearing that we might contact it. In the states outside Nigeria, malaria is feared more, more like the fear coronavirus, right? Malaria, if you have malaria outside Nigeria, you'll be quarantined. If you have malaria outside Nigeria, you will be quarantined. You will be kept away from other people till you are killed. Let's tell you how far, how contagious and how bad malaria is. But here we just see it as nothing. Please, we should start putting precautions on things like this. So we don't just spend our money buying medicines that at the long run to stabilize our body. Yes, some medicines are not good to be taken frequently. But because of the way we contact disease here and there, we take them frequently. And at the long run, we are damaging our system. So the wise men always say that prevention is better than cure. So I advise you to prevent contacting this that carry it. So next we have our body contact or body contact just such as measles, chicken pox, scabies, eczema, ringworm, leprosy and others. And uh, lastly we have the sexually transmitted diseases such as HIV and AIDS, gonorrhea, syphilis, hepatitis B. Yes, you shouldn't like you've had your sex, sex education that is for it's not for growing, 
growing boys and girls by Q is for couples, married couples, for reproduction. So you shouldn't engage in this because it is unhealthy for you. It doesn't just put you in danger. It exposes you to different kinds of illness that are so bad and some are terminal. There are some kills like HIV and AIDS here. They kill. They kill. They don't have cure. So you have to stop it till you die. So it's better you prevent it than start it. That's all we have for communicable diseases. Let's look at our next slide, which is non communicable diseases. Meaning and examples of non communicable diseases. Non communicable diseases are those diseases that can develop inside the body without being transmitted or passed to another person. Just the opposite of communicable diseases. These ones can stay in your body and you can't send it to another person, just like headache. You can't, someone close to you can't contact her there because you have a headache. No, I have to disturb the person because you have a headache. That's how you, how you communicate with them. So let's look at some examples of non communicable diseases. First, we have our diabetes. Next, we have epilepsy. So that one is questionable. Next, we have sickle anemia. Yes, these are for parents. Please. Educate your children and grown-ups around you that they should go for their blood group and test uh, out what their blood group call it. People that give birth to children with sickle cell anemia are people that have the blood group ASAS, and there is a high tendency for you to give birth to a child with SS. And SS is a anemia. They suffer from blood short of blood regularly. They need blood. So these people, these people, they, they fall sick, they look weak, they look feeble, beautiful, they look pathetic when you see them. No matter how much you take good care of them, you know that something Yes, it's natural. You can't contact it, but it can be prevented. Cancer and ulcer. So that's all we have for communicable diseases. Play this video on and on again so you will be enlightened. And so you don't have to contact. This is necessary. After you've kept your environment healthy as well, and able to keep people around you healthy. Make sure that they don't have diseases that are contagious. Stay close to you, thereby making you for the risk of starting diseases. Like I said, prevention is better than cure. Have a nice day, take care of yourself. See you next time in that video. And don't forget your assignment which is coming up next slide, which is here right now. Your assignment, it said you have to choose. Given objective, dash are that can be spread from one person to another. Disease or complication. Next is dash and dash are usually transmitted. This is dysentery and rabies or syphilis and HIV. We choose the correct one and snap and upload them. Bye bye once again. So